Around six months ago, at the time of writing this video, I released a simple choppy animation test video. The video got over 52,000 views, which is a lot for me, and there was a lot of positive feedback on it. One of the most frequent comments I got on that video were... Well, yeah, it was a lot about the Ultra Kill. Sorry, one of the most frequent questions I got in that video were, How did you achieve the choppy animation style? The following video will be a simple, not too in-depth tutorial to explain how to achieve choppy animation yourself in the software Blender. Before I start, I'm going to explain some things. This video won't be too in-depth. I want you to experiment and come up with some of your own methods. I'm just going to give you some basics on how I did it. Second, I won't be going in-depth on how Blender works. This video assumes you have some experience with Blender already, and you have some knowledge on some basic animation principles. If you're looking for a place to start with animation and uh, the animation principles, I've linked a video in the description by Alan Becker. He created those uh, like stick figure versus the animator, stick figure versus animator uh, videos. If you've seen those. Third, I've also linked some videos from the legend Doodly in the description of this video, a wonderful channel that goes in way more depth than I ever could on animation in 3D. He also has a video about choppy animation, but it's not about how to do it, it's more about the logistics and why people do it. Still worth the watch. Now, without further ado, let's get into the video. Alright, let's begin. So let's say you already have a 3D model, and you're ready to animate him. I'm gonna guess that the model is tune shaded or stylized in some way that you believe choppy animation will be better for the end product. To start, let's go ahead and keyframe some posing. Make sure you press the little record button when you want to record the pose, and then click it again when you want to stop. Pay attention to the timeline down here, and make sure you're posing on the first frame of animation. Begin by already having an idea of what you want the animation to look like when it's finished, and go ahead and create the first pose. This will be the starting pose of your scene. Second, what you do is basically feel out when you want the pose to change. So go ahead and make the final pose for the animation on that frame. There you go, you now have two keyframes where your animation starts and where it ends. If you go ahead and press the spacebar, you'll watch as the animation moves from one pose to, the, uh, to another in the most bare bones way possible. It looks incredibly jarring. And isn't, and isn't exactly what you're trying to accomplish. We want choppy animation. So, what you'll do is make sure you have all the bones of your armature selected. You can do this by pressing A in the viewport, make sure you're in pose mode. Second, in the timeline, you'll want to go ahead and select all the keyframes you currently have, which should be two. Then you right click, hover over interpolation, and click constant. There you go. Now when you press space, you'll see that the animation snaps from one pose to the next. That's technically it, but we know that with the animation principles, this doesn't look good. So what we'll do now is add more keyframes. A couple frames before the final frame, I'll place an anticipation frame. The body of the character will go down and basically anticipate and be ready for the bringing of the thumbs up. There we go. That looks a little more smooth. That's the thing about choppy animation. We're trying to make it look smooth enough that it looks good, but we got to keep that choppy feel. So now we add a couple more frames here and there, as well as a little bit with his eye to make him look a little more alive. And there you go, a choppy animation. Now render it out, add some lighting to it. If you have a camera in your scene, it's important to not put choppy animation on the camera. You want that camera to be moving at a smooth 24 frames per second, while the character moves at a slower frame rate. Now you have it. Render it out and you're good to go with a nice solid animation. You want to know something really cool? Go ahead and hover over these keyframes again, and this time interpolate to linear. You'll notice the animation is smooth, not choppy, but it looks better than it did earlier. It's just a little bit unfinished. If you want to render out the animation at 24 frames per second and you want your character to be smooth, I basically just taught you the initial blocking out of animation. You start by blocking out what you want the character to do, and then you add in keyframes there to make it look smoother. Go ahead and add more keyframes, switch the interpolation to Bezier, go wild with it. If you want choppy animation, you don't have to do any of this, but if you're looking for a smoother outcome, I mean, you know it now. You pretty much know how to animate now. If you want to keep it choppy, go ahead. I'd recommend experimenting with it, but what you've achieved here was achieved very simply. If it was hard, it gets easier with practice. Just keep going at it. Go make something really cool. If you've enjoyed the video, please subscribe to the channel. I'm working on a mini-series right now called Going Deeper, and I could use the support. If you want more tutorials from me, go ahead and let me know with a comment and a like. Have a great day.